out. Yeah, yep. I remember in 2005, after the Aceh uh, tsunami disaster, there was a charity football match played in Indonesia, and I went down to cover it. And it was organized, I, I suppose for libel reasons, I should be careful, but it was organized by a very wealthy Indonesian businessman i won't even say the business he was in but his business was plastered everywhere around the stadium for this charity match to raise money for the hundreds and thousands yeah. of lives that had been lost yeah. families who had been displaced you know you remember arche towns entirely wiped out from the tsunami yeah. because of the earthquake when we go to the game the stadium's not full because there's not that much money, but he's very happy because his corporate branding is everywhere. Mm, so I don't mm. genuinely know how much money this charity football match actually raised. Then the next day, the one and only time in my life I've been flown on a private jet, I went on the billionaire's private jet with uh, several other journalists wow. to fly to the Arche disaster zone <laughs> to see. And you're, you're, you're at towns where I'm not, painting a yeah, horrid picture here. I'm standing on the remains of towns and people and yeah, cars and yeah. properties, but I've been flown back and forth on a private jet so you can promote your brand. Mm. That I'm deeply, deeply uncomfortable with and always have been. What are the I, real motives? I can just picture you like walking up the steps to the private jet going, not feeling good about not it. Not feeling good at all. At all, right? At all. And and what what made it worse is there was uh, they took some footballers along retired football legends and one of them yeah, they were really pulling out all the stuff well <laughs> the, the night before they got uh, drunk they were uh, on they'd got drunk in the jakarta town center and they're telling the usual stories locker i don't want to paint a picture but you do get disillusioned very quickly mm, as a sports journalist mm, if you hang around with some of these guys mm, some of them don't really leave the locker room mm, no matter how old they get. Right, right. Right. So they're painting the pictures about what they did. All oh, the and stories of old and what they did in Jakarta. Yeah. And I'm not enjoying this at all. And I wore my West Ham Jersey, not knowing I was going on a private jet because it, the, there was a West Ham legend going on the plane. And I thought it would be fun with the kids that I would meet and so on. The guy says to me, I don't think you wearing a football Jersey is appropriate attire for a private jet. <laughs> This is the footballer. This is the PR people oh, the representing PR. Oh. the billionaire. <laughs> right? This is the PR. And with three drunk, hungover ex-footballers who are in their Bermuda shorts. Yeah, right. We are flying to the disaster zone of Arche right. to do a PR exercise, really, for yeah. this billionaire's company. And there's only six of us on the plane and one steward, stewardess. Carbon footprint of. <laughs> exactly. Because I'm flying from Jakarta to Arche yeah. and back again. Uh. And you're worried about my T-shirt? Uh -uh. That's the thing that you find uncomfortable? <laughs> Honestly, these corporates, some of them, some oh. of them. Some